Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody Sec. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the population growth that we've seen here in St. George, as well as all across the entire state of Utah. There was a new article that was just put out by KSL.com, which is a very popular news site, probably the most popular, I would guess, um, a new site here in the area. And they basically are outlining some different reports and some new data that just came out from the U.S. Census Bureau showing uh, some of the growth that we saw here um, across the whole entire state. So before we jump into that, if you are thinking about making a move here to St. George or to Northern Utah, anywhere across the state of Utah, me and my team do work the entire state, uh, reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. I've had people from all across the world reach out, literally hundreds of people over the last couple of years, reach out and say, Cody, I'm making a move to Utah. I need to know what, uh, how to make this happen. And um, I've helped them make that move. So I'd love to hear from you as well. My information is here on the screen. Call, text, or email anytime. And let's have a chat about your upcoming move. And also I should mention, real quick if you already live in the state maybe you live right here in our backyard just reach out to me we'd love to help with that stuff as well so let's jump into this article here and take a look at what's going on this uh, video or this, excuse me, this article says multiple Utah communities crack the top 10 in 2021 population growth, says this new report. Utah's population isn't just growing by leaps and bounds percentage-wise, but new data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows that Utah's counties are now starting to have the largest numeric growth in the nation. Real quick, we're going to talk about Utah County right here, and then we'll actually talk um, a little bit more about St. George. We'll skip down to that section. Utah County, with an estimated increase of 21,843 people, had the 10th largest jump in population from July 1st, 2020 to July 1st, 2021, among the 3,143 country counties in the country, according to a new report. That's a really big deal. Utah's kind of in the middle of the pack in terms of population size, <clears throat> and it doesn't typically see rankings nationally for numeric growth. The Bureau's report also found that St. George was the fastest growing metro area in the U.S. during the same time span. The Provo, Orem, and Logan metro areas also ranked in the top 10 in that category. So we had three out of the top 10 um, for metro areas as far as, uh, let's see what they have here. Um, it just says that it was the fastest growing metro area, right? So I'm guessing but that's probably on a percentage basis. So uh, the fact that it was going up that much is uh, pretty crazy, guys. We're, you know, Utah is seeing so much growth. There's a lot of people moving here. There's a lot of people who reach out to me and say, Cody, I'm moving to Utah for one of two reasons. One, it's going to be for the outdoor recreation, right? They're moving to Northern Utah for access to the mountains or number two, they're moving to Southern Utah, right? Right here in St. George to get access to the outdoors, the red rock, the climbing, the mountain biking, um, the hiking, all of the national parks that we have here. And you're still only, you know, a quick two hour drive to Vegas and maybe a six, seven hour drive to California. It's not that bad, right? So a lot of people are moving here for those reasons. And then the second reason they're moving here to the state of Utah is for the jobs. We've got so many jobs. It's very business friendly and there's a lot of opportunity here. And people are realizing that and thinking, hey, you know, I can go to Utah. I can make more money, have a better cost of living and a better lifestyle. So why not make that move, right? And over the past couple of years, people have really figured that out. And I think Utah has been kind of undervalued over the last couple of years. And now it's just kind of catching up and people are saying, you know what, this is actually a really good place to live. Why didn't I consider this sooner? Um, I hear that from a lot of people who are moving here. So with that said, let's jump down here and take a look at this part of um, the article here. At the same time, three Utah metro areas landed in the top 10 fastest growing communities when taking into account percentage increases. St. George led all U.S. metro areas in percentage growth last year with a gain of a little over 9,300 people. So from this year, from July 1st of 2020 to 2021, they saw 9,300 people um, as a gain. That's pretty phenomenal. You know, that's a lot of people, right? If you really think about it, I mean, that's like what half of a football stadium or a basketball stadium. I don't know how many of the people those hold like 50, 60,000, I guess. So maybe not half, um, but you know, that's a big, that's a big chunk of people, right? Think about how many people 9,300 is um, and how many people are moving into the state in that time frame. Um, and this also doesn't include people who move from, let's say, Salt Lake City down to St. George. I know a lot of people who have made that move. They have second homes in St. George and, um, <clears throat> you know, they're getting down to the southern part of the state, just where the weather's a little bit nicer. The area's population grew by 5.1% here in St. George 
and it bested uh, Coeur d'Alene in Idaho, which grew by 4.1%. So uh, it was over 1% higher than the next highest uh, city in Idaho, which grew by 4.1%. So it's pretty crazy that it, it seemingly, um, at least from the way that this is uh, phrased, basically blew that out of the water by a full percentage. Now, you know, obviously that's that's quite a bit. It doesn't sound like a lot, just 1%, but in this, in, with these small numbers, it actually is. The Provo Orem metro area within Utah County grew by 3.3%, raking number eighth, while the Logan metro area, which is in northern Utah and on the southern Idaho border, ranked 10th with a percentage growth of 2.9%. Says these are less surprising findings that numeric growth than numeric growth because the metro areas have continuously increased at high rates as people move in. Utah also led the country in percentage increased growth between 2010 and 2020 censuses. So, uh, this talks a little bit about Salt Lake County. We'll go ahead and skip that. But guys, the reason why I wanted to share this information is because, like I said, I've talked to literally hundreds of people over the last couple of years making a move right here to Utah, and they keep saying, I'm moving for the recreation or I'm moving for the jobs and the opportunity. Those are the two things I hear from just about everybody. 99% of people say that it's one of those two things. So if you're thinking about making that move here, then reach out to me. My information will be here on the screen. You can call, text, or email anytime. I love hearing from you guys, and I'd love to help you make that move. And again, if you're already living here in the state, maybe you live right here in our backyard, reach out to me. I'd love to help you buy something, invest in real estate, maybe even sell your house if you already own one and help you get into a new place, um, you know, here in the next little bit. So this information I think is important to keep an eye on. I think it gives us a good sense of what's going on in the market and kind of how to keep track of things as they shift. And I think it's going to um, continue growing. I think St. George and Washington County overall is going to see a uh, massive growth for many years to come. And I think this is something that um, you know, people need to keep an eye on because there are some water issues there. There's some housing issues. There's some land issues. You know, there's, it's such a, it's growing so rapidly that I'm a little bit concerned that, you know, maybe the growth won't be able to, you know, we won't be able to keep up with the growth. So that's something we really need to, um, try to get ahead of if possible. And keeping track of this information is really helpful. One last thing that I'll say when it comes to real estate is if you are thinking about buying a house or you own real estate, I think real estate's going to be really, really strong here in Utah for the next 5, 10, 15 years at least. I mean, you know, looking 20 years out, who knows what's going to happen? Utah might not even exist. But that being said, I think over the next couple of years, I think Utah real estate is going to be very strong. There's still going to be a lot of people moving in from California, from the East Coast, from the from the North, you know, up in uh, North Dakota, South Dakota. I've had people reach out from there. I think there's going to be a lot of people who continue to move here to Utah and, um, you know, make that transition. So if you're thinking about doing the same, contact me. My information's here on the screen or in the description box below. I'd love to chat with you. Uh, share this video with a friend or a family member if you don't mind. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you found this information helpful, they might find it helpful as well. It'll help them. And it also does help me get a little bit more exposure out in the space. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one.